lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Hi, and welcome to Handmade by Ditsy Tulip. I'm Mal and I'm just dropping in with a quick video today to give you the first of the updates on my November plans. So thank you to everybody who watched the November plans video. If you've not seen that yet, I'll insert a card here or um, a link in the video notes if I'm not able to get a card in. Um, so yeah, I shared um, what fabrics I'd, I'd got in my stash and what I was planning to make. And then I said I'd keep you updated with my makes as I uh, finish them. So I finished the first one, which is the Deer and Doe, uh, what's it called? Chardon skirt, which I've made from the lovely silk dupion from minerva crafts and i absolutely love how this turned out it th this fabric was an absolute dream to sew with i can't believe i've left it this long to sew with silk but it was an absolute dream it presses really well it sews just like a cotton um but it it doesn't slip it's really nice to handle it's absolutely gorgeous i can't believe i've left it this long to um to make something out of silk and i think it works an absolute treat on this skirt because of all the box pleats it really holds its structure um what i did do actually before i sewed the side seams up on the skirt i did just do a little video to show you a little bit more about the construction of the box pleats so i'm just going to skip over to that video now okay so as i said um, i just want to show you some of the construction of this skirt before i sew it all together because then it's more difficult to show you the inside um, so you can see it's got these absolutely gorgeous uh, box pleats all the way through the skirt and I'm going to come in and close and show you a little bit more about how I constructed the pleats uh, but it's got nice pockets as well in the side seam and you can see the skirt doesn't have a waistband instead it's finished by a facing. Now one tip that I wanted to just um, mention because it very rarely tells you about this in pattern instructions and it, and, it, and it really helps so I know on this that um, I'm going to have a, a centre back zip so uh, there's the front of the skirt um, and the zip is going to go in the back and so I've got my facing attached to the skirt but what I'm going to want to do is attach the zip and then enclose the facing over the, the the zip tape to finish it neatly on the inside so what's really really useful is to stop the stitch line five eighths from the edge of the um, facing and the skirt so let me just come in and show you so hopefully you can see um, there because I've done the under stitching and stopped there as well so um, when I've attached the facing to the skirt I've stopped the stitch line five eighths from the edge so that bit is still left open because what that means is I can easily fold that facing in over the zip uh, when I come to insert the zip. So you can see with the facing as well to make it nice and neat, nice and neat on the outside, what I've done is understitched. So you can see the stitch line just going across just slightly on the inside of the facing so when I'm under stitching you can see you've got a little arrow hopefully you can see on my foot there so I would keep that arrow lined up to the uh, seam line but then I'll move my needle three points to the right three, three um, sizes to the right so then all I've got to do when I'm sewing is just make sure I'm, I'm checking that the that little arrow stays on the seam line and because I've moved the needle the, the, the needle will stay evenly um, and in an understitch position. So you can see on the pleats you top stitch either side 
top stitch either side of the seam and if I just show you the inside So you can see there's the box pleat so um, I followed the instructions to sew the pleats I then pressed them flat and then you can see there that's just the other side of the top stitch and that's the way that the pleats have worked all the way along okay so um, hopefully that helped to, um, to to understand a little bit about how I did the box pleats and of course help with the uh, facing where you're attaching a centre back zip which is there um, so yes it has pockets as well nice deep uh, side seam pockets and I felt the um, found the length just right on this skirt as well now the hem just to show you is bias bound so I've kind of used some gold let me show you the detail I've used like some gold bias binding uh, ribbon type ribbon type bias binding and um, to give it that nice contrast on the hem um, but yeah you can see these are the box pleats so kind of top stitched at the top as I showed you on the little snippet of the video um, and then that's the structure of the skirt. Now I did have a tiny bit of the silk left and I didn't want it to go to waste so I managed to make this tiny little top so it's just a, this is a self-drafted um, pattern that that um, I did just a basic bodice that's got bust darts but there's no darts in the back and then I've just added a peplum along the bottom um, and just edged that with bias binding which I'll show you in a second. Um, I did make an error though, <laughs> I do like to share the errors with you as well as what's gone right. So um, because this was a self-drafted pattern what I'd forgotten is that last time I used it I traced the seam allowance directly onto the fabric so the seam allowance wasn't built in into the pattern and I went ahead and cut this straight out into this glorious silk um, and then realized afterwards that it didn't have any seam allowance so I did um, the, the, the I've drafted this so it has got quite a bit of ease built into it um, and I last time I sewed it I used a 5 8 seam allowance so what I did is I just used a one centimeter seam allowance which is as small as I could make it really um, and then it means that this doesn't have much ease at all it is um, quite a form fitting top but that has worked out quite well because Although I can wear this kind of with jeans and things and again ideally I would have liked the peplum to be a little bit longer but I just didn't have enough fabric left for that. But what it does mean is I can double it up with the skirt so it can be worn kind of over the top like that so you can see the peplum. But it can also be worn tucked in because this is a high waisted skirt I can wear the um, top um, with the peplum tucked into the skirt and then it looks like a dress as well so we'll insert some photos as, uh, as, as I'm explaining that to you um, but yeah absolutely love how this turned out I would definitely definitely recommend um, making this skirt up in silk dupion and the silk um, I thought was reasonably priced as well so as I say I got it for free because it was one of my Minerva Crafts um, blogger network posts but it's priced I think it's at £16.99 a metre I will correct with some text if I've got that wrong but it's there or thereabouts um, and, it, and it's just beautiful. I didn't pre-wash this um, silk because the skirt for, for, for certain I, I won't really be putting that in the washing machine and um, what I do have is a garment steamer so kind of my delicate fabrics like this rather than washing I will freshen them up using the garment steamer. Tops are a little bit different because um, you know you wear deodorant and things like that so they do need um, washing a bit more um, thoroughly so um, I may uh, dry clean the top um, as I wear that but again in between just can kind of freshen it up with the um, garment steamer as well. I was going to hand wash it um, and maybe I could have tried hand washing it but when I researched some people had said that when they'd hand washed the 
um, drippy on silk it did leave some watermarks on the fabric and I, I didn't want to uh, risk that happening so that's why I just um, didn't pre-wash it I steamed it instead and I will steam it to care for it so that is it, that's the first update on my November makes. I've, um, I'm already part way through um, some of the other makes so I'll keep you posted with how I get on. One change of plan that I've had is the uh, lovely tweed fabric that I'd got. I was gonna make the Vogue short jacket. I've changed my mind and I'm going on for a full on winter swing um, coat. It's the deer and doe opium coat which I've decided to make so I've cut that out this morning um, but I'm going to take my time and, and sew that up over the next few weeks but I'll keep you posted. So have a wonderful week whatever you're up to and I will see you very soon. Bye! Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends All my dreams are coming true